Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to be doing a review on SEMrush and cover everything that you need to know about it before buying. We'll go over how you guys can get started, the pricing, and all the different features that it can do for you if you have a website. So by the end of this video, if you guys are interested in getting started with SEMrush, you guys can try them out for free with our link down below. So first, if you don't know what SEMrush is, it's basically a tool that helps improve the SEO on your website. And this is gonna allow your website to rank higher on search engines. So here I am on the landing page. Again, if you guys use the link down below, you guys can get a 14 day pro exclusive access trial. And with this, you guys are gonna get a ton of different tools on SEO, content marketing, competitor research, PPC, and social media marketing for your website. To get started, go ahead and click on this button right here that says try it for free. And that's gonna take you to this page where you guys can create an email and a password to create an account. Now, once you guys are done creating an account and you guys have logged in, this is what the page is gonna look like. And so here on the left-hand side, you guys can see all the different tools that they have. The first tool that I wanna go over is actually their keyword research tool. If you guys go over to keyword magic tool right here. This is where most of you guys are gonna be spending a lot of your time. And basically you guys can enter any keyword in order to find keyword suggestions for your website. So let's say for example, that we have a topic like how to start a business and we'll go ahead and keep it at US for now and then click on search. Now from here, it's gonna show us a bunch of different keywords as well as a bunch of other things like the intent. There's also volume. And then there's also keyword difficulty. There's CPC, which is cost per click. And then there's also the SERP features. Now for most of you guys, just getting started, I would say that the most important things to look at are going to be the keyword, the intent, and the volume and keyword difficulty. Looking at all these different keywords, they have different volume and a bunch of different keyword difficulty as well. For keyword difficulty, this basically shows you how difficult it will be to rank for this search. So the closer it is to 100, the harder it's gonna be to rank. And then the closer it is to one, that's gonna be how easy it is to rank. You guys can actually filter through the keyword difficulty right here. So if I click on this, I can choose a custom range or I could choose from very easy to easy to possible keywords that I can rank for. So let's go ahead and see for possible. And so now we can see all the different how to start a business keywords that we can potentially rank for. Now, when it comes to intent, this one might be a little bit confusing for beginners. Right now, all of these are set to an I, which is informational. And this basically means that most people that are searching up this keyword only want to find an answer to a specific question. Now, if I go over to intent right here, you guys can see that there's a bunch of different ones. There's informational, which is the one that we just showed. There's also navigational. And this is where the user just wants to find a specific page or site. There's also commercial where they want to investigate for any brands or services. And then last, there's transactional where people are searching up these keywords in order to complete a transaction. Then when it comes to volume, you guys can also filter that right here, but this one's pretty explanatory. This one's basically just the average number of monthly searches for a listed keyword over a 12 month period. So how to start a cleaning business. This one gets around 5,400 searches per month on average. And then it also shows you all the other averages down here as well. And so let's say that we like any of these keywords, we can go ahead and click on this right here. And so this is gonna allow us to create a list. So let's name this list, how to start a business. And so boom, there it's added to the list. And if I see any other keywords that I could potentially use on my website on that list, I'll go ahead and click on the add button and it's gonna go ahead and add it to that list as well. If I wanna go ahead and see all these, then I can go to keyword manager right here. So here I have that keyword list right here that I can go into. And here I could see all the keywords as well as all the data on it. The next tool I wanna to go over is position tracking. So this is where you can monitor ranking of keywords on your website or on your competitor's website. So for this example, let me just go ahead and enter our website. So I'll go ahead and enter startupwise.com and click on setup tracking. From here, I'll go ahead and enter the location. So United States, you can also enter the full business name if you want. But from here, I'll go ahead and go to continue to keywords. From here, I can enter any keywords that I wanna track for this specific website. I can also import from a bunch of different things. I like to go ahead and use the SEMrush suggestions. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And so now it's gonna go ahead and import some of these keywords. And now I can go ahead and click on this to start tracking it. And while we wait for that to load, we'll go ahead and go over to the next feature, which is organic traffic insights. And this allows you to discover not provided keywords. So again, you would just enter in your website and then go ahead and click on get insights. Next, there's also the competitive research. So this is where you can get a bunch of insights into the strengths and weaknesses on your competitor websites. So we'll go ahead and put adamonfroy.com. We'll go ahead and search. And so here we are on the domain overview. This is where we can see their authority score. We can also see their organic search traffic as well as how many backlinks that they have on their website. Backlinks are super important. We'll go over this in a little bit, but basically backlinks are links that are on other websites and those redirect to your website. So we can go down here and we can see all the different keywords that they have. This is all super important information that you guys need to know for your competitors if you guys want to take inspiration. Going into the link building, let's go ahead and go to the backlink analytics and we can see that on adamonfroy.com, we can see all the numbers and all the 
the data on their backlinks. And yeah, if I scroll through, you guys can see that there are so many things that I can look at. There's a bunch of information that you guys can use to learn about how they're successful. There's also the link building tool. So if you guys enter in a domain, it'll help you explore new backlink sources. You can also connect with them using the outreach module. And then you can also keep an eye on your backlink profile through their tracking analytics. Going down here, they also have on-page and tech SEO. So this is where you guys can go to site audit and you can see your own website's SEO. I've already done one on startupwise.com, but you guys can go ahead and click on create project right here and basically just enter in the domain name and then click on create project. But if I go into this right here, you guys can see that it crawls through the entire site and it sees all the errors that the website has, any warnings or any notices that I should know about. And yeah, all this information is gonna help me improve my website in the long run. Now, those are just the main features. Again, there are so many other features that I can go into, but I don't want this video to be too long. I just wanna do a quick review. So now let's quickly go over the pricing before we conclude the video. With all the different features that we talked about today, you're probably thinking that SEMrush is super expensive, but it's actually not that expensive if you look at all the different features that you're getting. The very first plan starts at a little over $100 per month, and this plan is mostly for newbies and small teams. There's also the Guru plan, which is $200 per month, and then the Business plan, which is $400 per month. Most of you guys are gonna be just fine with the Pro plan, and this is gonna allow you to have five different projects, 500 keywords to track, and 10,000 results per report. And yeah, overall, this is a very essential tool for anybody out there who's looking to seriously improve the SEO on their website. So if you're a blogger or you have an affiliate marketing website where you depend on your SEO in order to get money, then yeah, I can't recommend this tool enough. Again, you guys can try them out for free for two weeks by using our special link down below. And if you guys are looking to get into affiliate marketing, then feel free to check out our free course down below where you guys can learn everything that you need to know about starting a successful affiliate marketing business. Anyways, that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some value out of it. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of videos like this that help you start and grow your own business. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.